God loves his Holy Ghost children. He loves them more than we can know. He sent Jesus to give his life for us. He loved us so much. And he even reaches out to us today with the truth to deliver us from the lie of Satan. And on the other hand, Satan's children hates God's Holy Ghost children. They blaspheme us. They try to stop us any way they can, discredit us. But we love God and we do no harm. We just simply tell the truth. And they just don't want anybody to know the truth. They're Bible worshiping evil sons of Satan. And Satan himself goes around as an invisible spirit. He's a big coward, an evil coward. He won't manifest himself openly. He takes on an image of godliness because nobody would want him if they could really see him for what he is. So he goes around with his imps, his spirits that he sends to torment God's children. And he torments everybody on this earth, pretty much, even the ones that don't belong to God. Some of them he really blesses, but their end isn't very well either. But especially God's children, he tells them, you're evil and you do this and you do that. And in the flesh we are, and so we will feel condemned. But in our hearts, we're not because it's Christ in us that's holy. How can you be holy without the Holy Ghost? That's the only thing holy there is in this whole earth. Without Christ in you, you're not of God and you're not holy. You can't be. You can try to be, but God won't accept that. Your flesh is filthy to God. All flesh is. It's condemned. It's corrupt. And so Satan wants to condemn us, take away our strength, take away our confidence, and make us subservient to him. He does it through religion. He does it through all kinds of stuff. He'll provoke you through other people. And he makes you be servant, subservient to his people, making you think you're doing something for God when you're really being a doormat to Satan and his people. But just remember, God loves you. He's a wonderful father. And Jesus loves us very much. He's in the image of the father. But he wants us to be holy, which is very hard in this world today. We can only be holy by walking in the spirit, talking in the spirit. We have to be separate from our flesh. Our flesh has to be mortified. Of course, we live in the flesh, but we don't live after it. And Jesus understands that as long as the flesh is not in your heart and you're not living after the flesh, but you're living after the Holy Spirit, then God accepts your heart because that's what he sees. Now, in this world, it's really hard to live in the Holy Spirit because Satan has us in slave systems and we're constantly surrounded by evil fleshly people. And they make even good flesh, make it like it's of God. And it's better to be good than to be do bad things. But just because you're good in the flesh doesn't make you acceptable to God. So just remember that God loves his Holy Ghost children because he knows who really loves him. If you really love God, you love him with your heart, not your head. Your heart longs for him. You want him because he's your father, because he's holy and he's your life. Not because he's going to bless you in the flesh and give you the things that you want and you're afraid of going to hell. That's not why you come to God. You come to God because you love him, because you want him, because he's your life. And you're willing to give up everything for him. In fact, you're vexed in this world. You hate this world. You don't even like yourself in the flesh. Your flesh is evil and you detest it. But you have to stay here until he calls your spirit out of your body. So love him with your heart and do your best to obey the Holy Spirit and be led by the Spirit. Don't be controlled by the flesh, even though you live in it. Satan will provoke you to be angry or to feel condemned. But God isn't the one condemning you. The devil is the one condemning you. He wants to destroy you. He wants to take away your confidence, your strength. He hates God's children. Look at the Bible worshipers that hate this message that the Bible is an idol. It just destroys them because they don't have a real relationship with the Father. They're not born of the Holy Spirit. They don't really walk and talk with the living Jesus Christ in the Spirit. And so without the Bible, it just freaks them out. They hate that. They don't want to know this truth because without the Bible, they don't have anything. They don't have, all they have is religion. All they have is a form of God in their mind from the Bible. They imagine that they walk and talk with God through the Bible. They imagine God speaks to them through the Bible, but it's all in their imagination. It's vain imaginations. 
They don't really know him. They're still in the flesh, living after the flesh. Now, they didn't know, but if they really loved God and wanted him, really wanted him, they would love this truth. It would shock them at first, but they would be so glad to know this truth that they would thank us and love us for telling them the truth. But what do they do? They hate us. They despise us. They try to discredit us. But they're fighting against the living Jesus Christ. They're fighting against the Creator, our Father, and they're dooming themselves. So God loves His Holy Ghost children. And when the world hates you, when religious people hate you, when Bible worshipers hate you, when the devil condemns you all the time, these INEs, invisible negative entities, are always condemning you and talking about how bad you are. Well, in the flesh you are and say, just tell them, yeah, that's true. I'm no good, but my Savior is good. And he gave me his spirit. And that's what saves me. And so he's my righteousness. I have none of my own. And so don't let him get you on yourself. Keep your mind on the living Jesus Christ, on the Holy Spirit, and on the Father that loves you. He loves us so much. Never forget that. It's the most wonderful thing there is. Nothing compares.